The institution of zakat is the cornerstone of the Islamic economic system. The Quran emphasizes zakat as a critical component of socio-economic justice. The institution works to ensure an equitable distribution of wealth and establishes a safety net for needy members of society. Both the sources and the disbursement categories of zakat are specified in Islamic doctrine. The Quran identifies eight categories of disbursement, each of which carries a clear social benefit. The act of zakat has a lot of wisdom to offer. It can be understood in four dimensions, which are mentioned as follows. 1. Spiritual Dimension First and foremost, zakat is an act of worship, as it is a command from Allah. The one who has given you this wealth is commanding you to give a small share from it. Allah says, And whatever you give for interest to increase within the wealth of people will not increase with Allah. But what you give in zakat, desiring the countenance of Allah, those are the multipliers. Zakat is an act which purifies his wealth, purifies himself, and takes a person closer to Allah. Allah says, Take, O Muhammad, from their wealth a charity by which you purify them, and cause them increase, and invoke Allah's blessing upon them. As zakat is an act of worship, if one does not perform it, Allah would punish him, as it is an act of disobedience. Allah says, And those who hold gold and silver, and spend it not in the way of Allah, give them tidings of a painful punishment. The day when it will be heated in the fire of hell, and seared therewith, will be their foreheads, their flanks, and their backs. And it will be said, this is what you hold it for yourself, so taste what you used to hold. Thus, by giving zakat, the spiritual dimension is accomplished. Social Dimension Allah says, And from their properties was given the right of the needy petitioner and the deprived. From this verse, Allah stated that one should use their wealth to help the needy and to the people who are deprived. Allah says, Zakat expenditures are only for the poor and for the needy, and for those employed to collect zakat, and for bringing hearts together for Islam, and for freeing captives or slaves, and for those in debt, and for the cause of Allah, and for the stranded traveler, an obligation imposed by Allah. And Allah is knowing and wise. In this verse, Allah lists various categories of people to whom zakat can be given, and when we analyze the category of people, they are those who are in some kind of a problem, like the poor, needy, to free captives, to remove people who are in debt, and to a traveler who needs help. Thus, zakat strives to fulfill the social aspect by helping the people in need. 3. Economic Dimension Allah says, And what Allah restored to His Messenger from the people of the towns, it is for Allah and for the Messenger, and for His near relatives and orphans, and the stranded traveler, so that it will not be a perpetual distribution among the rich from among you. And whatever the messenger has given you, take. And what he has forbidden you, refrain from. And fear Allah. Indeed, Allah is severe in penalty. What we learn from the verse is the economic aspect of zakat, which is to ensure that the wealth percolates to the poor from the rich and does not only get distributed and circulate among the rich. The system of zakat aims to control the level of poverty by equal distribution of wealth, reduce the gap between the rich and poor, to empower the poor, to help the poor get the purchasing power, to let the money flow from the rich to the poor, to create sympathy, love and kill jealousy. All this would ultimately contribute to the growth of the economy. 4. Political Dimension Allah says, And they are those who, if we give them authority in the land, establish prayer and give zakat, and enjoin what is right and forbid what is wrong. And to Allah belongs the outcomes of all matters. From the verse, we can learn that the people who have been given authority on the land are required to do four things. To establish prayer, to give zakat, enjoin good and forbid evil. The second task is to ensure that people give zakat. It is to ensure that a collective system is created where people can deposit their zakat and which could in turn be distributed to the needy in a systematic manner. Thus, this brings forth the fourth dimension of zakat, which is the political dimension explaining the role of leaders to establish the system of zakat. Zakat is not only an act of giving some money to someone who is in need, but an act which takes a person closer to Allah, which makes a person socially responsible, which makes people contribute to the economy and which will help people fulfill their political responsibility. This means that if one honestly gives zakat, 
then he would be benefited spiritually and would contribute socially, economically and politically. If you are new to our channel, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get regular updates. If you like our video, then please drop in a like and share the video with your friends and relatives and gain Sabah Bejariya.